یبروک نیشان I have been intending I did a video on Monday but it did not come out right on the uh, camera so I want to take you around just to show you some of the things we're doing how we are trying to prepare to become USDA organic all of our growth, all of our veggies and things will be organically grown. We have always practiced that with ignorance, but we're becoming certified by the state of South Carolina. And that will give us the USDA certified seal. I've been working this morning. I said I will put a video up to show you what we're doing. And this is what I've been working. See, I've done this this morning. I'm building another space of organic growing right here by my home. I can go outside and look. These huge oak trees, we're going to take them down. These one that you see, we're going to take all these down. And what we have here, we have clover in these bins. And it's difficult to get to the bins and things of that nature. So I'm going to take the dirt from here, the soil. We make some tremendous soil here. Ach Yawasadak, he is a master. And everything you see here as our veggies and the growing, it is our own soil. We produce that, we make our own soil. You can see how black and rich it is. Let me take you on just a little tour today. I would... These are some tomatoes that are close by our home. Tomatoes need really hot temperature. We have a tremendous... Uh, variety of things these are those that we can come out I can anyone and just pick these are what they call suckers here I tend to break them off we will run two st strings on this one and these here to produce and these are some of the things we got partially here and we got uh, bell peppers these are what they call the yellow monster we tend to order our seeds from Johnny uh, true leaf seeds, we go with grandi, we go with baker, we order from a variety of, uh, of seed sellers. And I've been, I remember when my first seeds are ordered probably 30, close to 35 years ago. That was before Baker Seed was the company. He would set out magazines, I don't even know how I got on the list. And they were just paper uh, stapled together. That's my first magazine I got from Baker Seeds. And let me take you here. We got what we call here. These are what they call criminal uh, squash, smooth criminal. I've never grown these, but they are supposed to be some of the best as far as adjustment. And, and they grow straight up. They'll grow on these teepos here. And we'll pick squash from here. So squash here. We got beans, we got these Japanese beans here that were grown trellis. We got tomato here, and these are just the regular old bush beans that we grow and to make sure there's much. Here we got some sweet Texas sweet onions. Let me give you a panorama view of everything. Let me give you that. And all of these are onions here in these beds. All of these are onions growing here. In these beds, we're gonna have plenty of wonderful sweet on onions. These are candy. And between the onions, onions, one of the best companion crop for onion, it will be lettuce. You see the lettuce between that? And it will ward off the bogs and things like that. I'm here at the school with my Ema. She's teaching the children. She's one of our teachers. And here's my Imra Fair right here, teaching, teaching. Let me see if I can get her. All right, there she go with that beautiful smile. And there's all the children in. Buenos dias, amiga. All right, Yabaruk, there they are, everyone. All right, Yabaruk. And we grow right here, we grow rosemary here. I put this, I did this probably, I would say five years ago, and this is clover all in here. I want to show you some of the things we grow. This is going to be, I want to put a greenhouse here. 
I want to, but financially we cannot afford that. If anyone wants to send me a gift to purchase one, send me the gift, all right? We can appreciate that. Oh, what a beautiful community. Look at all these beautiful onions. Look at them. Onions everywhere. Onions. We got here what we call the beet alpha cucumbers. First time growing them. They're supposed to be producers here. Straw in the bed to make sure that to keep it moist. And these are variety of tomatoes here. All kinds from Baker, Johnny C, True Leaf, uh, Granny. And these are some as well. These are tomatoes as well here. Let me give you a panorama. It's amazing what we can do if we were not so selfish. We've learned to be greedy and selfish. We really don't give a hog's mess about one another. You call one another the Hebrew Israelites, but it means nothing. This is broccoli here. Look, at we picked broccoli the other day. It's time to pick that seeding there. We have enjoyed the succulent broccoli here. Broccoli does well here. It gets hot. And just best to grow it in the fall of the year. But it does well uh, for spring garden. You get it out early. Broccoli. I want to show you. We got, we got so much amazing that we can eat every day from here. Let me, let's look at this here. I love this. If you want to grow an exceptional kale for us, it has always been the winter boar. The winter boar. L look at this kale. This, look at the height of it. The winter boar kale. Kale everywhere, everywhere you look. Broccoli everywhere, everywhere you look. What's here? These are broccoli and these are cabbages here. They're just coming along and what am I looking at? Ah, oh, Big Daddy, we got we got to look at these cabbages. You're gonna have you're gonna lose some crop. But we got everything here. I see the cabbage bulb in that one. But this is our simple life. These are starboard. This is a very nice kale if, if you limit it on space. It grows well. Look at the broccoli here in this bed. Look at it. It's a very beautiful kale to grow and different herbs here. We got carrots over in this bed here and these bins here. Plenty of carrots to grow and to eat. And your limited space, I would tell you, I would. You see these little blue barrels here? As a man that's very kind to me, I get them for little or nothing. You want to get the full grade or not wash them out. And these big 55 gallon, 270 gallon tanks, I get them from hardly anything. He's a nice old boy. I like him. White boy, what he is. Very kind man. Very kind man. Joe, so this is our, uh, let me show you this. You that are in the islands of the sea, you know what this is. And I don't know why these bugs are just tearing our lamb quarters up. We used to eat lamb's quarter all the time. But this is what we will call in the Caribbeans. It is called lamb's quarter. It is a delicious, see these bugs? I've never seen them do that on our lamb quarters. But this is lamb quarter. It is such a delicious thing. Carrots in the bins. Carrots. Flowers of all kind. And that is my little garden center there. I created that just with anything cheap stuff out of family dollars and all of that. And that's what I did there. But this bed here, it is full of delicacies. Delicious food. Broccoli. You see that? Beautiful broccoli. Look at those heads there. Broccoli hedge. You don't grow them any finer than us here. This has taken me, I learn every day, all day I'm looking to learn, to understand. Uh, I've been doing this gardening for what? I would say I've been here 27 plus I've been doing gardening for over 30 years. Growing food, my wife and I, 
We have cut plenty of broccoli and cauliflowers. We had cauliflowers yesterday and all of that, but much here in the garden. Much here. So you're going to have seeds to go to seed. Here's broccoli. Some going to seeds here, and here is kale. What kind of kale is this? This is starborough. But you see that? That's our Wi-Fi satellite dish and all kinds of broccoli. We got to get this broccoli pick, Akiwasidak. Broccoli and everything we have. We have such wonderful foods here. We have uh, cabbages in this bed here and everything. And this is one of our guest homes here. That's my horse over there. He's a, he's a work horse. This bin right here will be, we will plant watermelons here. Let me give you a tremendous view of it and the length of it. We're going to put some watermelons here. And this will be the place that we will grow. There he is over there. He hears me there, but he knows to look at him. He's a work monster. He's not a work horse. He's a monster of a man. Him and his father been with me. He was a little boy. That's what he was. He's a horse of a man now. But just to give you some kind of vision, here will be all watermelons. And then we will grow all kinds of brassicas here during uh, the fall. Watermelons will come up. And uh, if you can pan, let me pan this area where all these trees all these are going to be taken down for a fruit orchard. We had all of that. We had a tremendous amount of people. We had people that could take care of those things. But it's a very limited crew here now. Very limited. But we get things done. We get them done. Every day, I came out working, Zuck came. And he takes a crew out to... Make sure we got a little funds here. And your help, your generous help, we do appreciate it. And we do appreciate it. Let me show you some other things in the garden. This is not going to be a long video. I just wanted to show you some things. I got work to do. These are the beds we building. We have, uh, we have up front, you've seen that before, you that have been with us on Yisra Ya'il Fijasev. We have... Uh, it's about two acres plus. And we're getting that certified for organic growing so that I can teach the young Achim how to make money. This is the bread basket here farming. I'm telling you, nation. There are farmers that make more money than engineers and business owners. And that's just the truth. We got beans here, Blue Lake. We got providers here and we got Blue Lake beans here bush beans. These are my variety of peppers and every kind. All kinds of tomatoes. We, I will do determinates at time, but these are all indeterminate. They will come, we'll eat from this uh, until, uh, until it freezes up. And then we will have tomatoes in the greenhouse. You can see that orange building roof over there. There's, there are two greenhouses over there. We got tomatoes here. And here we got silver queen, corn. And here we have sweet potatoes here. A variety of all kinds. At one time we had developed our own strand of sweet potatoes. This is our first year growing them again. Ah, about, uh, I would say at least five, six years. These are the buildings that we use for suka, And we have the feast days, we're gonna mow them. And this is our huge bed of, uh, of sweet potatoes here. If you notice in between the sweet potatoes, we got corn. Corn here, and these are sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes do well with corn, a companion crop because the root of corn is shallow, sweet potatoes dig deep. So we have what we call companion planting here. Now I didn't come up with this, I've learned this and trying to understand 
the very mechanics, the mechanisms of growing food. These are sweet potatoes as well, different kind. I got some of those purple ones in here. I'm growing just for a friend of my issue, precious daughter to Zion. And these are sweet potatoes here as well. You see those? And this is kale. See the abundance of kale? We can't eat it all. You just got to eat kale. Look at all this kale here. Kale. I love to integrate flowers and things like that. Flowers. These are sunflowers here. I love to integrate those kinds of things. What kind of kale is this? Huh? We'll eat this all during the summer and everything. This is kale. I don't even think they picked anything out of this bed. But do you see the beauty of that kale? Look at that. You that are in the cities, you got a big backyard. You make you some of these four by four beds by uh, four by four by six, six inch uh, treated lumber. And I would suggest either, I would suggest, you know, the sulfur treated lumber. Uh, I would buy mine from Home Depot. Lowe's has uh, treated lumber, but it's not treated in the same process of, uh, of, uh, of Lowe's. So that's what we do. That we make sure, look at my, look at my, look at our little, uh, I, I, I did this. So when you come to the garden, the center of the garden, welcome, just be happy. Be happy. I paid little or nothing for these pieces at Family Dollars and Dollar Store. You're going to have diseases just like we have some kind of welts here. We, we know how to deal with all kinds of things. All of that. Yah has blessed me to understand quite a bit. And certainly I don't want to hold anything in me without sharing with every act. House of Israel, I want that. I want you to know what I know exactly. I want you to know more than I know. That old tractor right there, I paid a man $700 for that tractor 20 years ago. He said to me, preacher, you want that tractor? I said, how much you want for first of all, what's wrong with it? He said, tell you what, I pulled it there. Where's Arts? And it stopped. I sell it to you. I said, for what? He said, I give you, I, I, I'll sell it for 700. I said, you got to deliver it. We put $2,000 in that truck. I'm simply telling the story. And it's an intonation. It's a work hog. And uh, Yawasadak was driving one day. A fellow pulled up beside him and offered him, I think, ten or 12000 for that tractor. So I buy it right now. Of course, we're not going to sell it. We have, uh, we have a tremendous, we have uh, a Kubota here, and she is a monster of a tractor. She does everything. Let me show you around a little more. This is what we do for our little, uh, this is one of the things we do to make money for the community. We have a tree service, and I tell you, these Achim are tough at that. They know how to do it. They're monsters. I called them monsters on the first day of last week, of this week. They cleared out that whole area within six hours. That's the kind of monsters they are. Here we have corn, corn and beans. That's what we have. Corn here. Look at it. And beans here. We don't use chemicals on our crop as far as uh, chemical compounds. We try to use organic things, or natural things. Here we got everything from okra to beans in this bed. The corn is coming on there. We'll be eating corn here. That long. What in the world is, is this? All right. Here, you're gonna have sometimes growth, and this is some of the, not some, this is the soil we made. We have corn here, 
And you're going to have at times where things don't grow as well. And that's just the way gardening is and farming is. Sometimes it doesn't grow. And here, we got beautiful sunflower seeds and everything. Uh, I like a beautiful place. I don't like things being unattractive. We're not taking care of things. I don't, I don't like that. This is a very clean place and neat. And I don't let anyone come here, no one, and try to exert their own commands. Not here. You're not going to even visit and do that. Especially you Hebrew Israelites. You know you're present. You're somewhat crazy and pathetic. And that's a fact. This is our beautiful tabernacle. Look at that. I want to show you that. Ah, look at it. Tabernacle. That would be... We're working on this building to open up what we call Teshua Hebraic College. And that we will have two students graduating next year. And they are going to be the first to attend. My Isho did this the other day. I love beautiful things. Our tabernacle, Zachin Ya Ramaya, I. We had a young man here, his name was Dolphus. He left with his family and he died some years ago. We have our own low power radio station. It amazed me that you brilliant men, that back in those days we've had four. I would say 25, nearly 30 years ago, not 30, but close to it. And that you didn't even apply for that is sad. And I watch how the Caucasians applied for it. And they have repeaters, powerful station, that stations that all connected with each other. And they spread their doctrine of every lie it is. And you people that look like me that are rich in dark skinness is pathetic. You lead us. And I'm an ignorant man, but I was aware of that. And I was able to apply. They were targeting people of our hue. I was able to apply and we got a license. And where we were in Charlotte, North Carolina, we could have covered where all of the people, not all of them, but a large swath of people my hue. And that's what I wanted to do. We had a huge tabernacle. We could see 350, 400 people in there. And there were all kinds that would come and visit us because I didn't talk like those on the radio. I dealt with the corruption of a nation, a people, that was violently, sadistically evil. These of our beads, Zachin, Ya, Ramaya, let me show you that. You what? They take care of the little hives. We used to have bees, but we started back because we need them. We need them. Hallelujah. What a beautiful place. I enjoy my community. Look down through there. We used to have apple, peach, pear trees, uh, nectarine. We had everything. You don't need a volume of people to do that. We had everything. We had every kind of tree and strawberries, blueberries. And I'm getting older so I can't work the fields and things like I used to. What a beautiful community. Teshua, Yisra, Yalite, Hebrew community. So when people come in, they see this beautiful place. They do. And they look, and panorama. They see a beautiful playground for our children. And they see the area of Yahuda. That's what they see. We're not pretenders here. I don't play games. I don't sit around with no Achim or daughters of Zion laughing and kidding and playing. I've never been that way. That doesn't make me great or anything. That's just, I don't play around. I don't sit around with Achim and their wives and we laughing and clowning. I don't do that. I don't tell jokes to get a rise out of the people. I speak truth and that's it. 
This is amazing. This is where our babies play right here. Everything from soccer nets, everything, big trampolines, and everything they need right here. Basketball goal in there for the young ones, the children. And they play soccer in here. I enjoy just watching them. If I had my legs on the bee, I would be out here with them. This is Teshu, you that are the first timers. This is Teshu Hebraic community. Sure. We have Wi Fi, we have satellite dishes to make sure that the homes can get that. We have huge water tanks. We have quite a few that we need to set them all up. We have a beautiful place for fellowship here within the corridor of our patio right here, paved. You come out here and sit. I often tell people, you see that pond there? I built that. I built 99% of it. No, I built that period. I laid all those blocks. I built the decks with the help of Zarkhin Ya Ramiya. I built that. I'm not boasting in that because I'm a hard worker. This building right here, that deck, wood that was thrown away, they would bring it to me because they knew I would use it. Big tower of water there, just for gardening and things like that. Beautiful building, isn't it? That's why I cook all the time. I'm going to take you in there and then bring you out on, I say my pond, but everything here is ours. Everyone owns everything. Now, that's just the truth. If I pass, Zarkin Ya Ramiya will run things and we'll continue. Very bright young Zarkin. This is my place of cooking right here. And this is a collage of a painting that I, I like that. I just put every kind of color, every kind of extra paint we have, it's wood. We got a fireplace there, we can use it any kind of way. We eat here, got a swamp cooler back there. Matter of fact, I just put together my fryer. Oh, we don't eat, stop that. You eat Kentucky fried, my fryer that I've had over two years. I want to cook for the nation. And this is where I cook. This is my kitchen. This is where I come to cook. These all the grills that I grill on, I got to clean them up. I can put a whole goat on that big boy. That one there, huge grill. I paid $700 for that about 15 years ago. It was debt from Sam's. And this is where I come to cook and prepare specialties for the people. And I enjoy that more than I enjoy life. I enjoy my simple living here. This place is quite, not quite, and wrong superlative. It is very beautiful. Very beautiful. And that's just the truth. This is where we store our tools for the gardens and everything. Lawnmowers and leaf uh, vacuums and these chairs right here. All of them. I painted all of them. I bought all of them each. I paid $10 a piece at one of the dollar stores about, uh, I would say, 20 years ago. Kept them out of the rain and look at them. Let me give my koi a little food i was this is beautiful this is the deck i take let, let me show you this this deck right here i built this jacques can't help me at times but i built this deck right here oh throw away wood wood that they were tear down on off their jobs and i came out here and built that this pond right here every ounce of it i built everything and painted it i love to work People are lazy. Men are lazy. The daughters are lazy. This is our children playground. I love to work. I love to work. My Isho tells me that you need to slow down for what? I'm not going to slow down. I don't care what kinds of 
pains I have and all of that. Slow down. So I can't do it. How about that? I cannot. As the old farmer told me, oh, he was an old man when I met him. He told me I went to visit him. He was about 80 something close to 90 then. I would quite often visit him because they had a little house of Yahweh. And I passed him one day, it was every bit 95, 100 degrees here. And he was out in the fields working and I stopped because I wanted to see the old man. I hadn't seen him in some time. And John, but I stopped. I said, give me that whole old man. And I, I finished up the work for him. I just liked him. He was an uneducated man, but he was a precious man. Look, look, look who's here. Come up. Look at them. Look at them. You see them? During the winter, I don't even feed them. When they start getting cold, they will get nothing. They'll live. They'll survive. I tried to clean this pond, pond some time ago. We had some beautiful big fish. And it killed all of them. And I went to a man, he's from Britain. He, that's all he does, sell this koi fish. And he went to school. He came to America and he knows koi fish. And so I get information from him and I do what he tells me. And that's what I do. It's a beautiful pond, very beautiful, very beautiful. I want to keep this video short, uh, just to come again, treat yourself, we began to make the necessary changes to do that. And we need to learn how to truly care for each other. That's my next teaching on the elements of love on Shabbat. You need to join us for Shabbat service. I know you don't like me, I don't like me, but you need to join us and hear. I'm not one that placate with people. You need to join us. And that's just factual. Again, you, for the first time, paradise of a home. I paid $1,500 for it. It's the deck I built. There's a little extension that I built for my Isha. It's a room that she got. It's her room. This is, I, I, I don't throw away anything. Every scrap of wood, you can see, that's a, that's a beautiful, that's a tree that produced the knowledge of Yah. We are, and that's the ship that rides and carry us abroad. And this is somewhat of a complex identity. Water tanks here, that's, I take water off and utilize it. We use it for the gardens and things like that. Big tank here, I use this water when I want to fill up my ponds, my core pond. And this is the greenhouse that I start, and I'll begin to start seeds here. Uh, July, for the fall garden. It's untidy and all of that. But this is how we live, nation. Back to where I began, this is my project. I got all that concrete in. And I'm going to, with some of the old wood that we have had over the years, this, I, I don't throw anything away. And I will use that to build up this wall to, to the height of this. You see this beautiful wall right here? I laid every block by myself. Everything you see I did is zakained. Ya rabbi, ya sprayed it. But I built this. I built this. Put every block in place. These beds right here. We built, I basically built them because they have to go out and hustle. And I'm not a lazy man. I'm not one that's lazy. Beautiful dining facility. Very beautiful place. You can see through there, there's a home in the woods down there. That will, it has five bedrooms. I always, I would love to have me just a beautiful old country daughter of Zion, like to go barefooted, loves you, yeah. Simple, not this corruption upon many families are arrogant. The husband is sadistic, they're ignorant, and they think they know everything. I've been preaching over 40 some years, 
And what I know is Scots. It is of no value. I desire to live by it. And I shall. I'm going to stop here for today. There are those that wanted to see the gardens and what we were growing this year. And I wanted them to see. We have friends that are very supportive. You pass this video on to someone else. Tell them, look at that, what they're doing there in South Carolina. Old piece of land, what they call land down here, just uh, the sand land. It had grows nothing. We came here ignorant, I did. My wife and I, going on 28 years, and this is what has come to pass. That's my Yawasadak is my monster. He's a monster of a man. Look at him. Six foot three, four. I love him. He gets it done. And his son will get out here and paint that black. So we're going to say to you all, our friends, we're going to say to Yisrael and our enemies, do stay in touch and keep looking for the videos. I will try to do one. May the riches of Yah rest upon his nation, his people, and cause our hearts to delight in his Torah is my prayer for the nation. Yabaruch, Yabaruch, Yabaruch.